Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Yes, this is Neil again, that's N-E-I-L. And I am so sorry if it took me some time to upload or make another video because my schedule has been hectic. Not that I am a mayor, but busy lang talaga si Lola mo. So, ayun. So, to those people who have already seen my previous video, thank you so much. At least now, you already have an idea on what are the basic necessities you need before you can start working. Tama? So the next question we should be asking ourselves is, how do we find or get clients? Siyempre, kailangan natin ng kliyente para makapagtrabaho na talaga tayo sa bahay. Alright? So, bago pala ako mag-start, I have a disclaimer that I am not a professional coach and I'm just here, you know, to share what I've learned in this field. So yes, guys, feel free to thank me later. Um, but as, as, as early as now, I'm telling you that you are all welcome. All right, so let's go back to our topic. How do I get clients? Um, actually, bago natin to gawin, meron tayong tamang proseso na, na kailangan sundin. All right, so have we ever asked ourselves if we are ready enough? to start looking for clients, di ba? Dapat ganun. Dapat tinatanong natin ang sarili natin na nakakondisyon ba ako para mag-apply ngayong araw, okay? Hindi po pwedeng hindi. Kasi tulad ng sasakyan, hindi po pwedeng agad-agad mo siyang gagamitin. Kailangan nakapuli condition siya so that you won't encounter any problems along the way, lalo na kung long drive. So ganun din tayo dapat na uh, mga tao, di ba? Pag mag apply make sure that our brain cells are fully conditioned para ma-maximize natin yan sa pag apply Kasi kung, let's say, sabaw ka today, lutang ka, might as well, wag mo nang ituloy kasi sayang lang yung chance na magagamit mo today um, sa pag apply di ba? Eh, kalimbawa, ngayon nag-apply ka, lutang ka, tapos hindi mo nabigay yung 100% mo, sayang lang, apply ka na lang kinabukasan. Okay? And there, so let's start reading comprehension skills. Ian, kailangan mo talagang utilize yan every time that you're going to apply for a position. Because until now, di ba, uh, we're guilty of this, majority of Filipinos. Kasi until now, nakikita ko sa online or social media na when someone posted or selling uh, a gadget or kaya naman a job posting, they would still ask information na nakapost na. So, yung nga, example na yung gadget for sale, tapos the price and the specifications are already there, pero netizens or we Filipinos are still asking for those information. So, dapat hindi ganon kasi kung ikaw si employer, di ba, tapos binigay niya na sa iyo lahat ng information na kailangan niya, tatanungin mo ano yung kailangan niya. Diba? Parang ang laking turn off nun, di ba? Bakit ka niya i-hire kung simple instructions cannot follow? Parang ganun, di ba? So, it sounds cliche. Uh, it may sound funny, but it's true. Okay? Kasi sa reading comprehension skills, dyan pumapasok kung paano natin pinaprocess yung mga words na binabasa natin and kung paano tayo magre-respond. Okay? So, imagine mo na lang ang um, ganto scenario. Uh, you ask someone, how's your day? Tapos ang sagot sa'yo, I'm 16 years old. So, di ba? There's a disconnection with the answer. So, kailangan hindi ganon. Okay? Um, number two, find your niche. So, here, hindi pwedeng si Jollibee ka, <laughs> bida-bida na alam mo lahat ng expertise. Hindi pwedeng ganon. Hindi ka sa Google na alam mo ang lahat. Kailangan you have to focus on one niche. Kapag na-master mo na yan, then go. Uh, you can start learning new things. Pero hindi mo pwedeng lahat din. Lalo kung nubi ka, tendency niyan is that you'll just get overwhelmed. And hindi ka maging efficient kapag ganon. So, imaginein mo merong isang problem, um, tapos kailangan ng uh, specific expertise to work on that. Tapos you have 10 expertise. So, syempre, process yung thoughts mo. Kailangan mo pang i-remember lahat ng processes na yon. So, may hirapan ka lang. Kailangan i-master mo muna yung niche talaga na gusto mo. Focus on one, and then everything will follow. Okay? Parang tayong tao, di ba? Kapag ang dami nating iniisip, ang dami nating gustong sabihin sa utak natin, hindi natin siya ma-process ng tama 
kasi hindi organized ang thought natin. Ending nun, utal-utal tayo magsalita. Right? So, dapat um, one at a time. And then, number three, be creative and honest with your business proposal. So, when I say be creative, it means now you have to think outside the box. All right? Um, this one is also connected to our number one uh, with your reading comprehension skills. Kasi, dun mo gagamitin, um, kung ano yung nabasa mo, syempre, mag-respond ka ng tugma. At hindi lang tugma, dapat creative ka. So, let's say, for example, you are a CSR or a call center agent that does not have a background as a virtual assistant. So, kailangan mo mag-isip kung paano ka matatanggap sa posisyon. Let's say, ang requirements is kailangan baro ng gumamit ng Google Sheet and so on, um, baro na mag-admin task. Eh, di ba sa customer service, um, hindi ka lang naman nagtitake ng phone calls. You also process orders, kunyari, um, through email, processing tickets through email, uh, nag-multitask ka din while taking phone calls. So, mga ganong bagay, um, you have to connect it. Um, kung papan, you have to think kung paano mo magagamit yung mga responsibilities or task mo as a CSR dun sa responsibilities ng virtual assistant. Okay? And honest, uh, you, you, you let your employer know kung ano yung mga bagay na wala kang experience para alam nila kung kailangan ka bang itrain dito, kung um, kailangan pa ba ng um, diba, supervision one-on-one, -on -one, every day, or pwedeng little training na lang. So, yon hindi mo pwedeng um, mag-like ka kasi sooner or later, they'll find out. And integrity issue yon Eh, naghahanap ka pa lang ng kliyente, so dapat i-build mo yung trust, di ba? As early as now. Kasi, again, things will follow kapag na -build mo, kapag may tiwana na yung kliyente sa'yo. So, what uh, other examples ba for being creative? So, let's say, for example, uh, yung kalaban mo na candidate or applicant has five years or so experience. So, versus sa'yo, di ba, na wala kang experience, paano mo it to turn yung table? Paano mo uh, lalatagan ng offer si kliyente na beneficial sa kanya? Siyempre, kapag nagko-compose or nag-draft ka ng proposal, it shouldn't be all about you. Siyempre, kaya nga naghahanap yung kliyente ng i-hire para gumaan ang buhay niya, lalo dun sa mga admin task. Kasi yung mga bosses na yan, yung mga employers, CEOs, nagugugol lang mga oras niyan sa mga meetings, sa mga kliyente nila. So, they don't have enough time to do simple admin task for them. Kaya may mga virtual assistant, Okay for the word itself, Julalay. So, ayun. Um, so, like, going back dun sa kalaban mo, limbawa, ang budget ni client is $6. Tapos, itong si candidate that has five years of experience is already okay with that budget, $6. And sometimes, yung iba pa, umaha, umuhingi ng mas malaki, di ba? E, ikaw wala kang experience, then you can negotiate. Perhaps you can start with $5 or 4 Then after three months, you can assess my performance and determine whether I'd be deserving enough to get a raise or not. So, dun pa lang, nakamura na sa'yo si kliyente. At the same time, pinagyan mo siya ng option na uh, to test the waters, di ba? So, beneficial yun sa part niya kasi mag-hire siya ng um, experience nga naman, pero mahal. So, parang in the long run, hindi niya masusustain yung gastos. Parang ganun, di ba? O kaya naman, you can say to your uh, on your proposal na, well, maybe we can do a one-week trial. I can work for you two to four hours a day. And then just, just to test the waters for a week and take it from there. You decide, di ba? Whether you'd like to hire me full-time or still part-time. O okay, mga ganang bagay. You, you, you just have to think outside the box. Okay? And then... Yon. So, be honest nga. Diba sinabi ko sa inyo, I may, don't, I, may, I may not have the experience right now. I may, I may haven't worked uh, as, a, uh, as a virtual assistant, but the responsibilities that you posted are actually similar to what I was doing as a CSR. So, mga ganong bagay. Okay? Number four, resiliency. Dito, hindi po pwedeng mahina ang loob mo. Uh, again, rejections are normal. Even those uh, experience 
freelancers are still encountering this. Uh, kaya, just keep fighting, keep going. It's just a matter of time for you to get the right client, okay? Makakakuha at makakakuha ka rin for as long as you're doing your best with every application. Pero kung copy-paste lang ang ginagawa mo, huwag kang mag-expect ng result, okay? Um, let's say, yun nga, uh, you've been sending thousands, uh, when I'm in thousands, okay, hundreds of applications and nothing is happening, then that means there's something wrong. You should start analyzing and tweaking your strategy. Kasi kung hindi na nga nag yield ng results, yung current approach mo, then bakit mo pa ipagpapatuloy, right? So start analyzing kung ano pa yung pwede mong gawing tama or what you could have done be better to get noticed or for you to get the clients respond to your application. All right? So, there. Uh, nabanggit ko sa previous video ko kung ano-ano yung mga job platforms na pwede mong puntahan to get clients. But let's just go through it again. We have Facebook, LinkedIn, Upwork, online jobs, freelancer at saka one people per hour so the last two platforms i would no longer discuss it because like what i said sa apat pa lang na to facebook linkedin upwork and online jobs malulunod na kayo marami na kayong pwedeng makitang kliyente and isa kala okay so there number one online jobs ph so i would usually recommend this platform to newbies yes mababa ang bigayan dito kasi karaniwan dito mga uh, employers and eh, start pa lang din ng business nila. Okay? Um, it wouldn't hurt for you to accept a lower salary. Huwag naman yung sobrang baba again. Yung reasonable lang. Um, kasi at the end of the day, you're after the experience, di ba? Kung hindi ka mabibigyan ng chance, paano ka makakarating sa punto na lalaki yung sahod mo? Di ba? So, kung kaya mo na, kung kaya mo na someday, kung may, mayroon ka na mapatunayan, that's the time that you can start asking for a higher salary. Pero right now, I think um, the most important is for you to gain experience, right? So, there. Um, here's a job, ser uh, job search. You just have to put the right keywords. So, let, let's say you're targeting to become a virtual assistant in a digital marketing firm, then just put it in there. Then click search. So VA, this digital marketing, lalabas na dyan lahat ng mga VA for digital marketing. O kaya naman gusto mo um, VA, tapos, you know, um, experience. So lahat ng VA, uh, postings for VA positions na merong no experience na nakalagay, lalabas yung lahat. So it's it's a chance for you to um, start applying kasi may mga ganong kliyente na willing mag-train. Okay, as you can see here, employment type status, there is freelance, part-time, full-time. So, pag sinabi natin freelance, ayan yung mga tipong per project ang bayaran. So, let's say a client would give you a deadline a month or two. It could be advanced payment or after you accomplish the project, yun ka nang babayaran. So, yun ang tinatawag na freelance. Meron din namang part-time. Uh, ito yung mga tipong 20 hours a week, um, less than... 10 hours a week, pwede once a week. So, yun, yung mga literal na part-time. And then full-time, exclusive ka mag-work sa isang kliyente, 40 hours of work a week, tapos weekends off, o kaya naman weekdays off. So, ganun. Uh, I suggest as well sa mga newbies na kapag nag apply kayo, kailangan abangers ka rito. Um, let's say, nag apply ka ng VA, kailangan you keep refresh. Uh, ang, let's say ang target mo is employer based in the US, mag-apply ka sa time zone nila, hindi sa Manila time or time natin. Kasi tendency no, nalimbawa, nagustuhan nila yung application na sinan mo sa kanila. Mag, tapos mag-respond mag sila the same day. So late ka na makaka-respond. So sayang, ba? Sayang talaga. Kaya, yun, um, so instead na good shot ka na, na ma ma mapupurnada pa kasi hindi ka nakapag-respond ng on time. ba? Sayang lang din. So, ayun. So, makikita mo naman dito yung mga date like posted on March 15, 2020. So, kung it's been a week ago, wag ka na mag-apply kasi sayang lang yung effort na gagawin mo. Yung pagbasa ng job requirements and so on, pati compose ng details, sayang lang kasi hindi na mapapansin yun. Most likely, marami nang nakapila, marami nang na interview tapos 
ikaw, di ba? Imagine mo halimbawa, merong 50 applications si employer tapos pang 50 ka. So, maybe pang third, fifth, or tenth, contented na si employer. So, hindi na niya mapapansin yung pang 50 application mo. Ang layo pa, di ba? Tapos, makikita mo dito yung mga first and last name. So, pang nag-send ka ng application, wag, wag yung parang hi lang or hey, address them by their first name. Makikita mo, alimbawa, yan, Catherine. So, pag nag-compose ka ng template, yan, hi Catherine, para at least alam nila na binasa mo talaga kung sino yung nag-post. ba? Diba? So, ganun. Uh, what else? So, here, e-commerce virtual assistant at UK-based company. So, Ayan, makikita mo yung type of work kung full-time or part-time salary. Pag nakalagay na NA, ibig sabihin, they're not, there's no set salary. Ibig sabihin, pwede ka makipag-negotiate during the phone call or interview. Tapos, basahin natin, again, kung hindi ka, kung tinatamad ka magbasa mula umpisa hanggang dulo, wag mo nang ituloy mag-apply kasi sayang lang yung chance. We are a small dynamic company based in the UK selling premium organic herbal supplements. So, ang product nila is herbal supplements, organic, and yun, they're looking for a rock star virtual assistant. So, we have a small company mentality. We treat each other like family. Come and join us to make our family stronger and better. Grow with us and let's rock it to success together. So, from that statement, statement diba, makikita mo na na parang, oh, parang they have a good work ethics. They have a good culture. I think this is gonna be a long-term opportunity talaga. So, ayun, o oh, may nakalagay na rito. Please note, applicants who do not address the selection criteria below or who send as recycled copy-paste cover letter will not be considered. So, I think this client got fed up already with uh, applicants that are just sending generic or copy-paste uh, cover letters. So, di ba, sabi ko nga, kung hindi naman tugma yung application mo or proposal mo, hindi nila yung papansinin. Kasi it's like rudeness din eh, di ba? Parang ito yung hinahanap ko, tapos bibigyan mo ko ng ibang bagay. Di ba? So, you, you have to take it seriously. Every application should be taken seriously. So, there, duties and responsibilities. Read them all. Make sure to Google kapag wala kang inihan. Uh, and para pag, alimbawa, tinanong ka rin ni employer during the phone interview, o oh, alam mo ba yung mga duties and responsibilities mo. So, yeah, you can say, yes, I've been doing actually those, or some of them before. So, again, be creative kung paano mo may kukonek yung mga responsibilities mo before sa position na ina-applyan mo. So, requirements must be able to speak fluent in English. I will have a separate discussion on this because that's gonna be a long one. There are a lot, ang dami rin tips niyan. And then, experience working as a VA or customer support for an e-commerce company. So, alimbawa, wala ka talagang experience sa e-commerce and you still wanted to try, then give it a shot. Let let them decide for you. Um, just make make them feel na binasa mo lahat, na interested ka talaga, and be creative with your proposal na, na kukonek mo yung mga experience mo sa mga task ng position na to. And then here, you're familiar with Gmail, Google Sheets. So kung hindi mo alam yan, it wouldn't hurt to go online, look for them on YouTube or Google para maging familiar ka, kasi wala ka nang experience, wala ka pang knowledge, ano nang ending mo nun kay kliyente? ba? Diba? It wouldn't look you good. Um, unlike, pag sinabi mo sa interview na, well, I don't have experience with um, those tools yet, but I've been um, watching videos on YouTube about those tools, so I already know what to do. It's not going to be a problem. I can handle it. So, diba, there's a confidence kapag um, tinanong ka regarding sa mga tools na yon. And then, can work seven days a week. So, like what I said earlier, be honest. Let's say, yung work schedule talaga is di naman mag-work, then tell them. Instead of telling, uh, sasabihin mo sa proposal mo na it would work out for you tapos during the interview, 
hindi naman pala talaga. So, nagsayangan lang kayo ng oras. Nakalagay dito, di ba nakalagay ka na full-time work, pero dito, two hours per day lang. So, I mean, parang trial pa lang to. Pero may possi- nakalagay, oh, possibility to move to full-time in the future. So, meaning, um, they're just try- testing the waters. Hindi talaga siya full-time agad. So, kailangan talaga babasahin mo agad lahat. Kasi may mga information na kailangan mong malaman. So, yun. Kailangan talaga alam mo kung ano, what you're getting into. Parang, gera. Hindi po pwedeng hindi mo alam kung sa ano yung sinusuong mo. So, big plus if you are very familiar with Facebook, especially Facebook Messenger, but also groups and pages. So, I think lahat naman tayo marunong mag-Facebook Messenger um, except for our grandparents, yung lolo and lola, understandable yun. Pero, araw-araw naman na natin siguro ang ginagabag ang um, Facebook. So, we're familiar with it. Should not be a problem. Nice to have skills, not mandatory. So, again, Asana or other task management tool like Basecamp or Trello, you can see them on YouTube and get yourselves familiarized. Alright? So, Ayun, basahin mo lang lahat kasi kapag di mo bunasa, hindi mo alam kung paano ka mag-respond, right? Yung mababasa mo, doon kakukuha ng idea kung paano ka mag-respond or paano mo ipoposisyon yung proposal mo. Alright? Next one would be Upwork. So, this is actually ideal for workers na meron ng experience kasi ang labanan dito sa Upwork is yung ratings. Kapag hindi rated ang profile mo, may hirapan ka, lalo ko ang kalaban mo, is may mga ratings na. Oo, ganun talaga. So, hindi siya advisable for newbies kasi kailangan mo mag-invest ng pera dito. Kailangan mo mamuhunan. Every time that you're going to send an application, it would cost you money. Even pag-receive mo ng pera, meron pa rin porsyento doon si Upwork. Pero ang kinagandahan lang naman kay Upwork is that well-secured ka. Uh, and at the same time, every time na meron kang kliyente uh, and meron kang recommendation from every client, uh, gumagana yung profile mo. Magugulat ka na lang in the future na yung trabaho na yung lumalapit sa'yo, mismo kliyente na yung nag-reach out because ang ganda na ng profile mo. So talagang kailangan mo lang mamuhunan. So here, as you can see, nag-work lang din siya by keywords. So kung naghahanap ka ng cold calling job, just put cold calling and click search. And then, you will see the highlighted ones here, less than five sa proposal. Ibig sabihin, less than five pa lang yung nag apply And then, payment verified. Yun yung sinasabi ko na maganda sa Upwork kasi ibig sabihin, itong si kliyente meron ng pondo, pondong pera sa para sa trabahong ito. So, ano mat mangyari, mababayaran at mababayaran ka sa trabahong gagawin mo. And then, here, yung one yung spent Money, ibig sabihin, yan yung money na nagastos na ni kliyente sa mga freelance na nagtrabaho sa kanya. Alright? So, there. Um, posted seven hours ago, tulad din ang sabi ko kanina, make sure na recent yung mga ina-applyan nyo. Be a bangers. Um, wag yung mga two days ago, seven days ago, kasi ang haba na ng pila niyan. Okay? Parang pumila sa will, um, kay Tulfo, or kahit anumang TV program dyan. So, ganon. Um, again, utilize your reading comprehension skills. Basahin lahat ng information. Kung may attachment, um, i-download at basahin. Kung may mga questions, sagutan ng tugma at or anong, anong tama. Okay? So, there. Next one would be Facebook. Yes, Facebook can be used to pl- um, prospect clients. Little did we know, pwede talaga siyang gamitin to generate leads. Uh, hindi lang siya pang personal usage kasi kung personal usage siya, hindi siya magiging billionaire ang may-ari, ang presidente nito or may-ari. So, yun, uh, gawa ka ng separate Facebook account. Um, you know, dapat professional. Yun, lahat ng business matters mo doon uh, sa account na yun. Of course, yung profile picture mo dapat hindi siya selfie. You should look presentable or professional on that. And there, uh, this is where you'll build your pipelines, your potential clients. So, ganun lang din. search ka lang sa search bar. Let's say you're targeting uh, to work for real estate investors in New York. Kasi yan yung mga madalas naghahanap ng cold callers. Okay, VA for admin task. So, 
search mo lang and then click on groups and then isa-isahin mo yan, join mo yan lahat. At kapag nakapasok ka na, let's say like this, um, click mo yan si Yukari, add mo a friend, message mo, and then ilagay mo sa spreadsheet mo. Yes, make a list of the people you're reaching out. Kasi magugulat ka na, ah, oh, naka-reach out na ako ng 100 people. Diba? Tapos pwede mo siyang balikan. Let's say, for example, uh, you reach out to this person um, three days ago. Tapos hindi ka pa nakareceive ng reply. So balikan mo, baka na scene zone niya lang. Eh, mga yan, busy talaga yan eh. Okay naman, wala talaga interest. At least, you know um, kung ano yung stand mo sa kanila. And kapag nag-respond, it's still a big win. Kasi who knows, uh, maybe in the future, they might need your service. Diba? So don't burn bridges kasi hindi mo alam kung um, hindi natin hawak ang panahon. Things might change in the future. Alright? Next thing would be LinkedIn. Yes. Kung, mer- kung sa mga tao, ang social personal uh, media for personal matters is Facebook. Um, for uh, business purposes, LinkedIn talaga. Uh, para sa mga corporate profiles. So yan. Ganun lang naman. Create ka ng profile and on the search bar kung Type mo lang kung ano yung kina-target mong audience so, or employer. So, it could be like digital marketing president. Lalabas na yun mga list na may mga uh, digital marketing field, um, na vice president or president na job title. Tapos isa-isahin mo lang yan. Connect, connect, and same thing. Make a list of your prospects para pwede mo silang balikan anytime soon. All right? So, I think that's all. Um, actually, dito, pag nakita mo dito si Jessica, pwede mo siyang hanapin sa Facebook, tas connect mo doon. And vice versa, yung makikita mo dito sa Facebook, hanapin mo sa LinkedIn, tas i-connect mo. Ganun lang. Then, continue making a list of your prospect in a spreadsheet para meron ka ng sariling database. Alright? Na pwede mo silang balik-balikan anytime. So, ayun. Let's test what you have learned today. Um, please put your proposal in the comment section base sa job posting na to. So, I'm looking for someone for a full-time, 40 hours per week job to be an assistant to an online consultant from the UK. So, there are two main reasons of the job. Dealing with simple tasks for my clients such as reports and sending predefined tweets on Twitter. Handling some simple tasks for the content websites owned by consultant, such as formatting blogs post on WordPress. So, kung hindi mo nga alam ang WordPress, alam mo nang gagawin. I Google or YouTube para magkaroon ng idea. So, requirements for job, sabi ko sa iyo, stable internet connection. Kung hindi ka pa nakaset up sa bahay, wag mo na maghanap ng kliyente. Everything should be ready. Experience working in WordPress. Kung, kung wala kang experience sa WordPress, i-research mo and i-justify mo kay client during the phone interview na it's not gonna be your problem. I've already done my research and I know what to do. So, mga ganon. Can work 30 hours per week? Be honest kung kaya mong mag-commit. Kung hindi, then don't apply. Alright? So, I think that's all for now. Thank you so much for the time. Um, haba-haba to today. And in, again, kung meron kuma clarifications, questions, then feel free to put in the comment section below. All right, so you have a good day and see you on my next video. Bye-bye.